New tonight, several Grove City residents woke up to find themselves the victims of vandals. Police are now looking into the cases. It seems someone shot cars with either a pellet or a BB gun. And residents tell us this isn't the first time. 10 TV's Glenn McIntyre is live in our newsroom with the story. Glenn. Kristen, this is more than a frustrating nuisance for these residents. They say it isn't the first time they've been targeted by vandals. And tonight they're wondering when it will end. Jeff Irwin says he moved his family to this Grove City neighborhood for its peace and quiet. We all know each other. We're, I mean, me and the neighbor, he works for my kids' schools, yeah. you know. Yeah. We're all a pretty tight group. But lately, he says, it's been anything but peaceful. It's kind of very strange that all of a sudden now we're getting rained on and we don't know why. He says yesterday morning, a neighbor alerted him that one of the windows in his Honda had been shattered. The neighbor's Toyota had also been hit, blowing out his rear window. Here we go again. Can't even park in front of your own house. He says here we go again because this isn't the first time someone has used his car for target practice. He shared photos from about a month ago when he says someone fired a shot into his parked car. And while these shattered windows appear to be caused by BBs or pellets, this was an actual bullet. It actually penetrated the trunk. Jeff and his neighbor weren't the only ones hit this weekend. So was John Lilly. The policeman pulled up and he said, is that your van? I said, yeah. He said, well, somebody shot your window. John assumes the acts are random, but that doesn't make them any less aggravating. It kind of pissed me off. I mean, for, I don't do nothing to anybody. I mean, I didn't, uh, I don't cause anybody any trouble. But he says his car and home were recently egged and his daughter's tires were slashed in his driveway. There's no point in it. I mean, what? What did they get out of that? Whoever's behind it, whatever their motivation, these neighbors want one thing. I just want it to stop. Now, though these are Grove City addresses, they fall into the jurisdiction of Columbus. Anyone with information is asked to call Columbus Police. Live in the newsroom, Glenn McIntyre, 10TV News.